hello there. Um, today I'm going to start with a series of tutorials uh, talking about different resources, apps, and web pages we can use to work on on an online format. Um, according to a webinar that I have that I totally recommend it to check on our Facebook page, I talk about different resources we can use in order to work with a flipped classroom, which is, in my opinion, a nice way to work with um, an online format right now that most of the teachers are working uh, in that way. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Google Forms. It has a lot of features, so I'm going to develop probably three or four tutorials because I want I want them to keep to keep them short. I want it to keep it short. So uh, I'm going to explain first of all uh, what about Google Formats. As I explained in my webinar, when we were with the flip classroom, we had three stages. Um, the previous class, in class, and after class. After class is the most important um, stage because it's when we develop the strategies about um, consolidating knowledge. So doing and working with Google Format is one of the best ways to do it, in my opinion, because it's very easy to use and it's very, uh, it's, for us it's faster as teachers because we don't have also a lot of time. But you have to be familiar too, first of all, is that you need to have a Google account. I'm already logging on my Google account and then you go to Formularios uh, of, or Google Forms. And then you will see, in my case, I have different uh, forms that I already did and um, what you have to do is um, well um, create one right but before I do that um, let me show you something that I really like about Google Forms which is you have different templates templates are going to help you to make your design easier and faster that's what we want so it could be personal and then you have different types of forms it could be for your job right about an event uh, asking for permission etc and then we have the ones that we are interested on which are education ones so it could be a self-assessment and then giving feedback to a class and then an exam and then it could be a spreadsheet and then one more time it's uh, not only about the class but the whole course giving feedback right um, in this case i'm going to talk about having an exam because as i proposed a quiz it's what we are pretending to have after on the third stage of the flip classroom um, so as you can see, it's you got most of the work done, even the design. So you can you you can keep it, or you can change it if you want. So you have already a title. You can also write your title, a description, and then the questions, right? So it is the, the first proposal is a short question, a short paragraph question because is um, the name of who is doing the exam, of course. All right, and then the email. And you just can edit the question by just clicking on it. Well, I'm changing the information into English, but I mean, the idea is that you have most of the other of the um, other fields you you eventually will need for your exam, and then you have the first section, and then the first question, the second, and so on. 
um, it gives you variation and the good thing about Google Forms is that in this case for example you have different options so just click on it I edit it all right so for example I don't know It's just a silly question, but um, you will see how it works. And then you have you have created the questions, right? Oh, and the question and the answer. And then you have clave de, re de respuesta. So it means you are going to select which one is the correct one. So it's already selected. And also you can provide feedback, which, which I totally recommend because on the last stage in which we are consolidating knowledge, we want the students to know exactly and to get in some feedback. So you just write what you want to say about this, no? To just provide feedback. And that's it just click on it so it means this is the right one and then you have the distractors and you have the, uh, the answers are, which are not correct so remember that we have to keep in in four in order to uh, for options to answer in order to have a very nice exam and then you go the same way right so click on the questions you edited in this case um, it has to select different options right so you can select one two three options and then one more time the feedback about that and then click on listo and then the next one is a short test uh, and then you can have a clave de respuesta it means that you can add a commentary about what you're expecting to have on that answer and then you can have a paragraph right so probably a, t a short test writing the uh, examination or writing activity and one more time you can have clave de respuestas so eventually every question you are going to continue assigned uh, you're going to assign also the points right so at the end you're going to have certain number of points always in clave de respuestas and then I assign one so eventually in your exam it will show you that i have already 28 points so you are looking for 100 points or 50 or whatever points you you will need just just have to play on that on clave de respuestas and if you want to have a general overview this is how the exam will look like once it's finished so i always go back and forth so I just review what I had to move. For example, if I if I want to take this question maybe at the end and the title at the beginning. I mean, you can always move it and it's very, very easy to use. Okay. And then I go back to the preview and then I, I see how it changed. Um, on our next tutorial, I'm going to explain a little bit about this toolbar and um, how to work on design. But this is in general idea. So remember, my recommendation is to click on templates, go to examine or tests, or exams. It depends if you set it in English or Spanish. And then you will have different type of questions and you just copy that's the other thing you just can copy and change the question and you will keep the same format just be careful with clave de respuestas because by default you will have the same answer mark as correct so you have just to change that in order to keep it as a very good exam all right then so thank you for watching so stay tuned for the next tutorials and well have a nice day